So Sam Smith is currently breaking the internet because of his Grammy performance. And on the conservative side, they are saying that it is satanic, it is evil, it is degenerate. And I don't know what the progressives or the people who like this kind of music are saying, but I'd imagine they are, you know, loving it. And it's gotten like millions of likes on YouTube. I can only speak to my side, my echo chamber, because that's what we all do, right? And the truth is, the unpopular opinion that no one is going to express on this side is that there's a reason why songs like this are getting so much traction. Yes, he has a lot of money to promote it, but when you actually listen to it, aside from the lyrics and the satanic vibes of the whole thing, it's actually catchy. I can't emphasize this enough. I don't like this song, but I'm trying to put myself in the perspective of somebody who would like this song. And the message that I want to send out to conservatives is that y'all need to start getting into the culture. Y'all need to start making music, creating art, writing poetry, doing videos that get people on our side. You can't just live in your echo chamber. You can't play it safe. You have to be controversial. And this is why I'm drawn to people like Bryson Gray. Like, I don't like everything that he says, but I like his music and I would support it because he's stepping out of the, like, he's stepping out of his safe space. Like, he's stepping out of the out of bounds of music. In a somewhat dumbed down society where people are addicted to drama, to outrage, to controversy, you have to go down to that level, unfortunately. But it doesn't mean that you have to give up your message. It doesn't mean that you have to compromise yourself. It just means that you have to copy what the other is doing and make it your own.